two steps forward, one step back. That's the analysis from Morningstar Research on the big U.S. banks. Most of the big mortgage-related costs are now out of the way, but other costs are starting to creep up and affect results. Uh, JP Morgan, for instance, took uh, over a billion dollars in legal charges related to foreign exchange tra trading. They also mentioned that they're going to be doubling their cybersecurity budget because of the hacking that's been going on lately at the banks. Uh, so it seems like the positives were, in a lot of ways, outweighed by negatives. Uh, similarly, on the credit front, uh, credit quality across the board is exceptional. Everyone is paying back their loans, both on the consumer and commercial side, uh, but there really is, still isn't any loan growth in uh, significant amounts, and interest rates still remain low. In fact, uh, long-term interest rates are actually going down when I think a lot of investors were expecting them to go up. But Jim thinks there's one bank that looks undervalued. We actually raised our fair value for Bank of America this quarter from $16 to $18 per share. So it now looks slightly undervalued. Uh, we're generally skeptical of cost-cutting programs, but Moynihan is doing an excellent job at Bank of America. And we think ma most of the major risks there are out of the way. Uh, they've paid most of the big legal costs. And the core business, uh, including consumer banking and wealth management, is actually doing very well. Uh, so with all of the, the big headaches behind them, we do expect continued progress at Bank of America. And it's looking to be one of the most undervalued banks we cover at the moment.